Hello, I'm Alexander Duchenko, a third year chemical engineering student at UC Riverside, working in David's catalysis lab in the next lab. Our world has created a lot of different chemicals, personal care products, and medications. While they're great, they're making their way into our drinking supply. This is not a good because I'm pretty sure no one wants to drink their neighbor's medication. So in this lab, we're looking at titanium dioxide, a compound you can commonly find in sunblock, toothpaste, and paint. And it's normally used for its white color, as you can see here. But we are looking at the nanoscale properties. And nanoscale is able to degrade organic compounds into water and carbon dioxide when it's exposed to light. It's a useful property and allows us to clean water effectively. Unfortunately, the particles are so small, it's very difficult to remove them from the treated water. So we look at uh, nature and look at the bone shell, which is used organic scaffolds to control the growth of calcium carbonate, which is chopped to make a very strong shell. By using these scaffolds and mimicking them with pol uh, synthetic polymers, we're able to create a titanium dioxide plutonic material, which is strong and resilient, and able to degrade organic compounds into water and carbon dioxide effectively, in hopes to easily implement it into water treatment systems and effectively clean water and make pure water cost effectively for generations to come.